The Doon Ray Shaft is an historic radioactive waste disposal facility excavated in solid rock within the boundary of the Doon Ray licensed site. One essential part of the original site facilities was a means of disposal of low-level liquid waste through sea discharge pipeline. To house this pipeline, a tunnel was constructed extending some 600 metres offshore to a diffuser chamber. As a means of removing the excavated spoil, a vertical shaft 4.6 metres in diameter was sunk to a depth of 65 metres. Then a short 30 metre long connecting tunnel, approximately 3.2 metres diameter, was then driven from the bottom of the shaft to intercept the discharge pipeline tunnel. The top 8 metres of the shaft was reinforced with a concrete lining immediately below the concrete. A further 5 to 6 metres of the shaft was lined with wire mesh. When construction of the tunnel was complete, the shaft became redundant and approval was granted in 1957 to use it as a disposal facility for radioactive waste. For this to be achieved, it was necessary to isolate the shaft from the tunnel complex by the construction of a reinforced concrete plug in the connecting tunnel. This plug, almost two and a half metres thick, was positioned some 20 metres from the shaft. Between 1959 and 1971, over 10,000 disposals of radioactive intermediate level waste were made to the shaft. In 1971, the availability of a new wet silo for disposal of both solid and sludge intermediate level waste reduced further usage of the shaft to the disposal of items too large for the new silo. Throughout the disposal period, the shaft remained flooded by the continuous ingress of water from the surrounding rock. Controlled pumping maintained levels below sea level to minimise outflow from the shaft. In May 1977, an explosion in the shaft caused substantial damage to the cover and infrastructure at the top of the shaft. Immediately following the explosion, the resulting debris and damaged structure were deposited down the shaft. An inquiry concluded that the explosion had been caused by a reaction between sodium-potassium alloy and water to generate hydrogen. Since the top of the shaft was sealed, the gas collected in the space above the water and was possibly ignited by a spark from an electric pump. Since the explosion and repairs, the shaft has been carefully monitored under a care and surveillance procedure. The shaft is now naturally ventilated and constant monitoring for gas is undertaken.